Right to it. Joining me now, ACL, uh, ACU, American Conservative Union Chairman Matt Schlapp and former aide to Senator Chuck Schumer, syndicated radio host Chris Hahn. All right, guys, uh, I want to stay with the topic a little bit. Uh, I am very concerned about the acceptance of the violent rhetoric on the left. Uh, Chris, please tell me that you are as well. I don't like violent rhetoric at all, Judge. I didn't like it when it was aimed at, uh, at President Obama. I don't like it when it's aimed at President Trump. We could disagree and vehemently be opposed to each other and do it in a civil way. I, I often argue with you guys. I mean, I've, been doing, I've been arguing with you for eight years, Judge, but I love you. Same thing with you, Matt. You love Matt, too? <laughs> All right, Matt. Of course. I love everybody. A lot of love in my heart. <laughs> he loves but me you know he what? I'm with the ACLU, I guess. I don't know. Oh, but, uh, you uh, are. I, I just... <laughs> All right, guys, here's my concern, Matt. My concern is that, you know, everybody's talking the big game right now. And yeah. I'm not going to say is it going to last because everybody's got an opinion. Yes, no, it doesn't matter. But my concern is this. As the right is being silenced in ways that are we are unfamiliar with, from the burning of a building or an attempt to at Berkeley, from a police stand down and not no arrests made there, to the, the Kathy Griffin, to all this craziness, where do you think this ends? I think that the culture is in a really bad spot. I think that we've lost the ability to have respectful discourse. I I'm going to say something that's not going to surprise a lot of people. I think it's a bigger problem on the left. I think that they think that uh. Donald Trump is an illegitimate president. I think they think that there's no boundaries for people once they call them haters. Um, and I think it really needs to stop. I, I, you know, one rodeo clown... Uh, uh, had an Obama reference in his costume, uh, and, they, and, and there was a, a nationwide outpour, and he had to stop. That wasn't even about murdering or death Gee, or I blood. Remember that. Any kind well, of making fun of any Democrat <laughs> is immediately stopped. But uh, the left has Matt. got to stop this, Chris, and you need to call them out. Chris, you disagree? Matt, 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 Matt. Well, Matt, I, I know that Matt was alive for the last eight years. I debated him on this show a lot during the last eight years. There was a lot of vitriol on the right. And not now the left me. is kind of taking it a little bit too. Not from you, but you know no, it was but out Chris, there. No, Chris, 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 stop. Give me an example. Give me an example of the right being as outrageous as the left holding a head of the a decapitated head of the president. As Stephen Colbert is saying the president is a CO whatever holster for Putin. Give me an example of the Democrats doing stuff well, like that. Well, well, wait a minute. The Motor, the Motor City madman saying he wanted to take a gun to the president of the United States. And he was visiting this president of the United States in the White House. So okay. let's, not be, let's not forget about Ted Nugent, who's been on this show right before me sometimes. But he apologized. He's some apologized. very outrageous things. Yeah, he's and apologized. Yes, and, he, and, 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 and he said he's so not going to do that Griffin, anymore. And so, and so is a lot of other people. Let's not forget what happened the last eight years. And as for this Shakespeare thing, look. I don't want to forget what's happened the last eight years. That's why and, Donald Trump's the president. Go ahead, Matt. And Kathy and let me Griffin tell you, did not and, apologize. And, Kathy Griffin believes that she's a victim. She's turned it into a publicity stunt. Let's just say this. The country should not be having a uh, uh, this type of rhetoric where we can't respect each other across lines. Chris, I, I don't agree. Matt, I can do it. it. I agree. We're, that's not all I want is for the violence to stop. All I want is I for agree. people to not think that they're going to be a hero if they kill a congressman or a, a president. Judge. You get no argument from me about that. I spent two hours on my radio show talking about it this week. It is horrible that anybody would think that violence solves anything. And, you know, to the point of that play, Julius Caesar, that's the point of that play, that violence doesn't so so solve anything. In 1789, when they performed that play, Julius Caesar looked a whole lot like George Washington. It's the way that play gets performed when it's modernized. It's not pretty, but it, it goes to the point that violence doesn't solve anything, especially political okay, violence. Okay, so George Washington... Country. George Washington, Chris, was was modernized as Julius Caesar. Is that what you're well, saying? Well, you know, I wasn't okay, alive. Okay, so it then. took I'm it old, took 200 years to get to Trump. <laughs> they skipped over everybody else. At what I'm. What I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say, Judge, is that almost every president, including Obama, has been portrayed as Julius Caesar in a production of Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. It's widely been reported that there was an Obama uh, impersonator in Minnesota at a major uh, theater doing this uh, during his his uh, term in office. Boy, Minnesota, so that's a big it, it, audience. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, I think the, the <laughs> let's go back to this again. We have to call out when the rhetoric is too hot. The fact we is do the call out and they say free speech. Yes. yes. 
That's right. Look, I'm okay with free speech, but you have to have the responsibility for what you say. I don't want it to be criminal to say these things, but you have to take responsibility. And these left-wing hotheads who are encouraging these people across the country to take these violent steps by the rhetoric, uh, it has a bad consequence. You know and they what? have to take Doesn't responsibility. Have any consequence. Uh, uh, Go ahead, I am, I, of the three of us on this panel, I'm the only progressive that is here in the conservative medium, and I get attacked on Twitter in ways that would turn your stomach by people on the right. So let's just cool it right now about what's happening from the, the left. It's not the same thing. I get Trish, too. It is, Deal with it. You're a it is absolutely... Guy. It is absolutely wrong for it to happen. I agree with you. We should stop with the violent, tempered okay. rhetoric. But I, there's like nothing, I said, I got a lot of respect for the people I there's debate nothing here on Fox, like and I think this you have in the age of Trump. We've got to respect each other. There's nothing like this that we've seen in the age of Trump. This complete disrespect and disregard and the laughter about these disgusting, violent acts. And it has to stop. There should be respect for Nobody's our public laughing. officials. People were almost killed. Because people's rhetoric is out of control. Well, Ron DeS Congressman Nobody Ron DeSantis was on earlier, and he talked about how they're saying one down, X number to go, and people, you know, liking it on on Facebook and uh, and on websites. It, it, it's a bad there situation. There are idiots everywhere. There are idiots and there criminals idiots everywhere. And yeah, there are, Judge. We know that. And there are trolls on the Internet that say things that they would never say to your face. Yeah. All right. Come on, Matt. I'll give you the last word. Uh, I think we can do better than this. I think it was a, a horrible week for the country. And I'm hoping that all of our elected officials can, can lead us better, be responsible, and all of us who are on TV can make sure that we're talking about solutions to this, for this okay, country. Okay, but we're, we're not. Deep fast, fast, I got five seconds. Chris, should congressmen be able to carry guns? And women? I, look, I think that... That's a yes uh, or I no. I think that if they're properly licensed and insured, of yes. Of course. Yes. Yes, I agree. The three of us agree. License and insured. Matt, yeah, hey, Slab, Chris.